Welcome class of 2024 to Ashesi University. In this video, I'll be showing you around the Autodesk Fusion 360 interface. The Autodesk Fusion 360 interface comprises of nine major sections. The first section you should know is the application bar over here. So all of this area is the application bar. And the application bar comprises of your data panel. The data panel is where all the work that you have been doing can be saved. It is recommended that you create a folder for every project you are working on and then save all your files inside the folder that you are working on by clicking on the new folder button over here. You can also use this icon over here to collaborate with other people that you are working on the same project with and then see what they are doing to contribute to the project you are working on. The next thing that you should know in the application bar is the file icon. With the file icon, you can use it to create a new design, open an old design, save the design you are working with, export your design into a different format. It can also help you to 3D print and then you can also capture an image using the file button. You can also share the work you are doing using the file button as well. We have the save button here that allows you to save the work that you are doing. And then we also have the undo and then the redo icons over here for going back or going forward whenever you do something that you want or you don't want. Additionally, we have the tab over here that shows the project that you are currently working on. You can create a new tab by clicking on the plus here to navigate and have a fresh screen where you can do something else. So the tab here simply works like the way your browser tabs work. As part of the application bar, we have the help and then the account information icons over here as well. So when you click on your name over here, you can be able to look at your Autodesk account change the preferences and then look at your profile over here as well you can also sign out by clicking here so that somebody else can use the computer for fusion 360. you can click on the question mark here to get help and then learn directly from autodesk and then pick up various skills from the community that they have established over here you can also view your job status over here this one simply tells you whether the work that you are doing has been uploaded successfully to the Autodesk server or not. And then the last item here, which is part of the application bar, is the extensions. So there are various extensions over here that you can add up to your Fusion 360 to make it better. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the toolbar. With the toolbar, there are a number of icons over here. The toolbar comprises of this scroll down menu where you can design, you can have your generative design, you can render, animate, simulate, manufacture, and create 2D drawings of your 3D model. The toolbar also has the solid feature where you can do your 3d modeling at it also has the surface modeling features it also has the option for working with sheet metals and it also has some tools that you can use to example 3d print your th uh, model you can install add-ins to your fusion 360 using this icon and then we have some utilities over here that you can use for working in Fusion 360. We also have tools here for inspecting various portions of the work that you are doing, such as section analysis. With the section analysis, it allows you to cut your model and then view inside as if you've cut it with a knife and you want to see what is exactly inside. We also have the curvature map analysis, the draft analysis, etc. We'll treat all of them 
as we move on with this course the last item on the toolbar is the select button so there are different ways to select your 3d model and all of them are here for you to use now we also have the view box over here the view box allows you to navigate between the various named views of fusion 360 as at the moment if you want to view the top of the 3d model you just click on the top if you want to come back home you can come back home over here and then you can also have the front the right the left and then the whatever in your view cube let's now talk about the browser the browser allows you to see all the changes you are making to your 3d model it also allows you to for example change the unit that you are using to work it's always advisable to put it in millimeters for this course we also have the named views over here in the menu that you can collapse and then you can also select the various views from here just like we have done with the view cube we also have the origins over here so you can be able to locate the origins of the x the y the z so the origin is over here you can locate all of them by clicking on the origins over here and then you also have the origins of the named views that we have spoken about at the top over here now the 3d model that you have created comprises of different bodies for example the Ashesi logo i have here is just one body so when you come here you'll be able to see body one you can use the eye button over here for all the menu items under the browser to view or disable whatever you see over here example i can disable the body from being viewed by clicking on the eye icon over here and when i want it to show i can come and open the eye of this icon and then whatever i have here will be shown to me i also have another menu here called the canvas so before i started this logo i used i downloaded the chassis logo from the internet and then this was what i derived this 3d shape from but i i currently disabled it but you can also see what i started with when i click on the viewing of the canvas over here the last item here is the sketches i made a number of 2d sketches before i was able to get this 3d model so all the sketches have their history over here the next item i would like to talk about is the navigation bar you have the navigation bar here that allows you to navigate around the canvas or the interface of fusion 360. you also have the look at view here and then you have the pan for pushing up and down your 3d model you can also zoom in and zoom out with this one and when everything appears to have vanished from your screen you can use this one to zoom to fit the 3d model into your screen we also have the various display settings over here we have the visual style the mesh display you can change the environment over here you can change the camera projection and all of that over here and then under this particular icon you'll be able to modify the grid which is these boxes in the background that allows you to navigate Fusion 360. This one also allows you to display various aspects of the model using different sections of the screen. So you can create multiple views and then view your model at the same time from those uh, views. The last thing I'll talk about is the timeline. So when you start creating a 3D model, you start with a sketch so Autodesk Fusion keeps a timeline of all the operations that you have done for example when I added my first sketch this was the operation when I added the Ashesi image this was the operation when I did feather sketching this was the operation and when I did the extrude this was the operation so this basically is the interface for Fusion 360 the last thing I'll talk about is the canvas menu. 
so whenever you are in this canvas or the work area you can right click anywhere and then you have all of these menus for you this menu keeps changing according to where you have clicked so we also have the edit sketch slice sketch save as dxf look at and then all the view stuffs over here we also have some other icons which are the commonly used ones that you can navigate between when you are working with fusion 360 thank you so much for your attention